What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Vault and Merry Christmas. We want to wish you guys happy holidays. Hopefully Christmas has been a blast for you guys and hopefully you got everything that you wanted. We are here for our annual Christmas edition custom build. So in front of me, I have a bunch of Christmas colored themed parts. We're going to be piecing together one pretty sweet custom build. So let's run through all of the parts we're using today. Starting with the deck, we're actually going to be using the five and a half inch wide Proto Eclipse deck and head tube, both in black. Really excited about using a Proto deck today. So hopefully you guys are too. We also have a green North Fender, since the Proto decks don't come with a fender or a brake, we have free reign to use whatever fender we want. So I'm using the North one. For our fork and clamp, we're using the North Profile double clamp and the North 30 fork, both in the green colorway. For our bar, we wanted to introduce some red. So we're going with the Triad Felon bar, trans red, 28 tall, 24 wide. To match the red, we also have a Prime Whirlwind headset in red. Moving down to the wheels, we got the Envy Tri bearing wheels, gold on black. And I use these because the gold glitter colorway, I feel like is very festive and fits the Christmas theme perfectly. I forgot to mention the grips. These are the Ethic Slim Grips in black and they have the integrated bar ends as well. Finally, to tie this custom build together, we're using a sheet of the Hella Grip. I forget exactly what design this is, but it's the green on the yellow one. High quality grip tape, supporting the boys up north and fits the color scheme perfectly. So now that you guys are aware of all the parts we're using for this Christmas custom build, I think it's time we get into building it. All right, so using a proto deck doesn't change anything in terms of how we get this build process going. Let's move everything out of the way and start doing the grip tape. So the cool thing about using a proto deck is I can actually grip it all before I even assemble it. So since we already have just the deck here, I can just full deck grip the whole thing and then I can start assembling it and the deck will already be gripped, which is sweet. So got our hella grip here. We're gonna full deck this bad boy and hopefully I can center it. But if any of you guys watch these videos, you know that I'm not really good at centering my grip tape. So we're gonna give it a go. Let's pull this off. Just gonna lay it here, kind of center it. Okay, looks pretty good. Even on both sides, we're just gonna lay that right there. Will it come out good? I don't know. I really don't know. It's hit or miss every time. But this is my second time ever building and gripping a Proto deck. The first one was actually mine and this one is for a custom build, but I'm really excited to use it. So we got the grip tape on, just flatten that out since there's so much deck here. Let's grab a razor blade. So now we got the razor blade. We can just cut here. And another one here. It's pretty cool. When you grip a proto deck like this, it's almost as if you're just gripping the back end of a deck twice, because you have to like make all the scores for your dropouts, but then you also have to make all the scores for the head tube. But now that we got those all cut out, we just need to score everything and cut everything. So as you guys can see, we have successfully made our outline of the whole deck. Everything is scored and pretty much ready to get cut. Grip tape is done, everything is good to go. We can finally start assembling the head tube. So I got my Proto head tube here and I got my hardware here. I just need a tool. All right, so every one of these bolts needs a washer. Let's put all these on. Got a Proto head tube here. Got our Proto deck. We're just gonna slide this guy in. All right, head tube is in. Now we got our hardware 
And we are gonna put a little bit of grease on all these bolts because since the deck is held together with these bolts, we definitely wanna make sure they're greased. So we're gonna lay it on its side. All right, one bolt in. Just a heads up, I'm only getting the bolts threaded. I'm not really making sure they're tightened down. I'm just gonna get all six bolts in and then I'll go through and make sure they're all tightened evenly. All right, head tube is good to go. Hardware is installed. Let's get going on assembling the front end. Got my north fork, got my prime headset, need my HIC shim. All right, let's start with taking off this compression bolt. Cool. Let's grab our headset bearing. All right, just gonna drop it on there. Grab our other headset bearing. Place it right there. Same with the compression ring. And finally, dust cover. Now we can take our HIC shim, slap that right there, and this will work. It just looks like I'm gonna need a longer compression bolt. One sec. Look at this way longer compression bolt. Yeah. All right. Drop that in right here and tighten it up. Fork is on, headset is on, compression's installed. Everything spins great. Still on our wheels. Let's do this guy first. So, since my wheels are 30 wides and this is the North 30 fork, we don't need any of the spacers. So I'll save these in case whoever buys this custom wants to ride small wheels, but today we're doing big wheels. Let's drop our axle in. Grab our nut. And our socket. Sweet. Front wheel is on, everything spins. Now we can move on to the back. But before we put on our back wheel, we should probably put our fender on too. Since there isn't any sort of cutout right here on the bottom of the deck, the only way you can really get a grip on any of your brake bolts is with like needle nose pliers. So we have our brake hardware here. Let's take it all out. We got our fender. So this guy is gonna live right here. The challenging part is gonna be that we have to get our brake hardware installed and then somehow hold this little nut underneath here so we can tighten it up. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge, but I think I got it. So let's put our fender here. Let's get our first brake bolt and our Allen wrench. Let's put it through the hole. I'm gonna do this. Beautiful. Might have it. No, 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 come back. All right, I'm having some technical difficulties putting the brake on. We'll be right back. A few minutes later. Okay, 10 minutes later or an hour. I don't even remember how much time went by. We got the North Fender on the Proto Deck. Looks great. Now we can finally continue with putting on our back wheel. So I got my Proto Spacers here. It comes with the big boys and the small guys. Um, so I need obviously the 30 wide spacers, but whoever buys this custom, once again, you will be getting both sets of spacers. So we got our big spacers and our small ones. We need our small ones, of course. So, axle, deck end. Put that guy in. Cool, got our little spacer here, and our wheel. Grab our other spacer. Yeah. Then we take our other deck end here, just like so. Drop the spacer in, and the nut. I like to just hold it with my finger at first, get the threads going, and then once I know it's kind of good, I can grab the socket wrench. Cool, back wheel now installed, and it spins great. You guys can really see the Christmas colors coming out. Now we got the red, the green, the gold, all together. I'm really loving it. But we gotta keep moving. So we gotta put our grips on our bars. <laughs> I forgot. All right, let's put our grips on the bars. And I just wanna give a quick shout out to uh, vault employee Zach Rowan for actually installing the slit in this bar on the front. Shout out, Zach, you're the best. If you buy this custom and there's any issues, you just let us know. But slit's on the front for this one. 
Sweet. All right. These Epic Slim Grips having the uh, integrated bar ends made installing the grips even easier. I don't even have to hammer in bar ends. They're just already built in. Now that we got our grips installed, let's grab our clamp, which is right here. And I almost just tried to turn the bars around so the slit was on the back, but then the bars would be backwards. All right, slip these in. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, we can slide the bars on and complete this custom build. Put that there. Final stretch. Make sure everything looks relatively straight. Yep. All right, guys. Well, Christmas came early because this custom build is finally done. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that B-roll, and honestly, I hope you guys enjoyed how the scooter turned out for a Christmas edition custom build. I tried to keep it subtle with the hints of green and red. I didn't want it to dominate the scooter completely, but I am thrilled with how it turned out. Colors are beautiful, and I know you guys want to know if it's dialed, so let's go find out. To be expected, this thing sounds amazing, insanely dialed. Kudos to the Proto Deck, just giving this scooter such a solid, deep sound. And it looks great, it sounds great, and just in time for the holidays. That is gonna be it for this custom build. Once again, we wanna wish you guys all happy holidays, Merry Christmas from everybody here at The Vault. And if you guys enjoyed this custom build, let me know in the comments. If you would change anything or use any other parts, let us know, because we would love to hear it. And until the next video, we'll see you guys in 2024.